Hello everyone, uh, I'm Jennifer Lee, aka Gen X Gen, aka your new favorite reactor, maybe? Uh, at least one of your new favorite reactors. Uh, th thank you for coming to my channel and uh, watching Daredevil episodes, season one, episodes seven and eight, along with me. Yeah, in the, in the previous episode, um, Matt was framed for a... Uh, Killing Marvin Acme? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, for killing some cops. Um, framed by Fisk. Um, it's actually uh, Fisk, under Fisk's orders, a sniper killed those cops. Um, at least some, maybe all of them, were, were Fisk's own people. Um, so we, we know that Fisk does not hesitate to, to kill his own people when he finds it necessary. He killed that uh, detective that he had working for him, the one who, who was such an ass with the, the reporter, Ben Urich, um, just because he, uh, he lost a, a phone that had a, an important text with damning information and, and uh, it, got, it got into the hands of the masked man. Um, so just because of that, that one little slip up, he lost his phone and then he lost his life. Um, so Fisk is uh, brutal. So now I guess that, that Matt's going to be a fugitive on the run. Um, it, how, how, I don't know how this is, is going to work out. Uh, if he, he's still going to be able to be a lawyer by day because the uh, Nobody knows that, who he really is. I mean, not not even his closest friend, Foggy. I wasn't sure at the beginning, when, when I first started watching the series, I wasn't sure how much Foggy knew about what his buddy Matt does at night, and uh, apparently he knows nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, he didn't recognize him when he saw him on the news. Uh, I, I thought that was very interesting. Um, so I don't know if, if Matt's still going to be able to do his, his day job. Um, is he is he going to be able to keep up his vigilante activities at night somehow? Um, I, I have no idea how this I'm just going to have to watch to see what happens. Um, uh, I see that the uh, the title of episode 7 is a, it's a very simple title. It's just Stick. I, I don't know... Uh, what what um could 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 it refer to uh the stick that Daredevil carries uh that he likes to use as a weapon um Vlad Vladimir in uh episode six ridicule him for it saying uh a gun would be more useful um but yeah Daredevil said he d he just doesn't use guns um uses the stick and his fist and his feet and uh, whatever else he needs to use but he won't use guns you know it, it rem reminds me of a rambling old man going off on a tangent about uh kids these days and their fancy toys you know when when i was your age all we had to play with were sticks and we were grateful for them <laughs> the description uh for this episode, it says an, an important figure from Murdoch's past reemerges, seeking his help to battle a new enemy threatening Hell's Kitchen. So we got uh, someone from Murdoch's past. I have no idea who that could be. Um, I've never read the comics. Um, maybe uh, some of you watching uh, who have read the comics can uh, leave, some, leave some comments telling me more about the Daredevil comics because uh, I am interested. Um, and also, um, there's a new enemy, so it's not bad enough that he's having to deal with Fisk. Now there's a new enemy. Oh, wow! And um, and also, I want I want to bring up that something I I didn't uh, pick up at, at first in the uh, the previous two episodes. Um, is is that? Uh, well, I th I thought I, I was a little confused when uh, Vladimir continued to. Uh, blame the the masked man for decapitating his brother um even after even after it seemed that he had uh 
even after it was revealed to him that it was Fisk. Um, something I didn't pick up on at first is that he thought, um, well, he'd been, he'd been lied to. He believed the lie that, uh, Fisk and the masked man were working together. Um, so that's why he continued to, to blame Matt for his brother's death. Um, and also when, yeah, yeah, at the end of episode six, when Vladimir finally revealed the name of, of Fisk's money guy, um, said it was Leland Owsley, Ols Owsley, something like that. Uh, I didn't, uh, make the connection at first, um, with that Leland guy that's been, uh, in uh, all the episodes so far, um, one of the, uh, the people at the, the top in, 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 in Fisk inner circle, um, the guy played by the, uh, the same guy who played the evil warden in, in the Shawshank Redemption. Um, I had forgotten that his name is Leland. So, um, I guess the, uh, uh, Daredevil might be going after him now. Um, that'll be interesting. Uh, so I don't, I don't want to make any more predictions. I just want to sit back and enjoy episode seven. So enjoy it along with me and, uh, please uh, don't forget to, to give this video a thumbs up and, and subscribe. Um, I've got a, a lot more content um, planned and, and coming soon. Um, Daredevil, She-Hulk, all that. I'll get, I'll get into more of that at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, again, thanks for being here. And um, let's just uh, get this started. There's nobody there. Elevator is moving and it was empty. Oh no, who's this person? Black Sky, Black Sky, what's Black Sky? Oh, cut off his hand. Oh, this show is so gruesome. Oh, that blood. Is he gonna kill him? Yeah, he killed him. Oh. If only you knew who you were talking about. <laughs> Calling him a terrorist. He's sitting right in front of you. Yeah, listen to her. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, in the court of public opinion. <laughs> he represent himself. What about my punching in the belly? I want to make sure the right person can pull it out. Yeah. After shooting those cops, police are probably looking to settle things the old-fashioned way with their junk money. Yeah, like they've been doing. You're bringing us down, Murdoch. <laughs> Take a look at yourself. I know. Softball. <laughs> when are we getting a company team together? We have three employees. At least two of them are blind. <laughs> Mason, each and every one of you characters. Did you know she has mace on her keychain? Not yeah, of course. You ever worry about her? Woman in the city needs worry, that. Like, something she's not telling us. Everyone has secrets, Molly. I don't. I'd like some. <laughs> Your kind. Like with. <laughs> no, you don't want on. those. There's the oh, there's Daredevil, the masked man. My wallet. <laughs> he thinks this is just a Tell mugger. Yeah, admit it. Blind guy from the beginning. Ooh, he stunned him. Man, he almost got that Leland guy. Is this the new enemy? You just gonna lie there all night? Well, another flashback to his childhood. Oh, this is the 
figure from his past. His father left a sizable inheritance. What about the mother? Is she dead? Oh, no. She's... Yeah, I want to know more about well, his mom. Story. Oh. Your He's already got Mr. some skills. Oh, so he's, he trained him. This is the guy who trained him. So you're nine years old, walking along, minding your own business. Wham! Get hit by a truck. Killed dead on the spot. How can you kill? You lived? Praise God, it's a miracle. <laughs> so you survived the truck. Good way to make a point. Get this. They call stuff like that. Gifts. Especially yeah. Superpowers. Very few people have. Or deserve. I never thought of it that way. That's because you're stupid. <laughs> you're not stupid, smart. Sugar grains, vanilla bean, milk from three different days. Wow, he has a states. super smeller too. I can't smell anything. Well, you don't have the super smeller. Batch of chemicals straight off the periodic <laughs> table. Oh, uh, that ruins ice cream. The guy's hand was served it to you. Oh, that too. A dog. What's your story? He's hungry. His stomach's growling. Wow. He's, he's dying to eat the hot dog that the guy's carrying. That's how Glinda can. He can tell all this. Not bad. What about the girl? Her skin's, her skin's too hot. Her heart's beating fast. Oh. She's sick. No, she's in love. She's in love. <laughs> the old man. He's, he's dying. And there's nothing you can do about it. You'll need skills for the war. What war? We'll get to that. The point. war that's coming. When you're ready. I don't even know your name. I don't know how are you. Oh, oh that's the guy's the name. Get up off your ass. Easy, okay? I'm going five minutes to turn this place into a shit show. I've gone 20 years. <laughs> 20 years. This guy must be really old you're now. Right. Those kids who hate your guts, they have you pegged as a cop killer or some kind of mad bomber. Police department thinks you're a cop killer. Oh, so she's meeting with the reporter again. That's why I figured she would be doing. That's where her, her secret is. Oh, that's got to be frustrating. It doesn't matter what I believe. It only matters what I can prove. I doubt it. Yeah, he he almost got hit himself. He's in a coma, so he survived. <laughs> so he believes what they're saying about the masked man. No, it's not. Now that's a he heavy burden on him. Um, I'm not so sure. Are you really sure about that? Expensive shithole. 
Didn't he get a deal because of that billboard? Where's she coming back? I can smell that there's been a woman there. Good. You gotta work your sex on the hook good now. So Claire's gone for good? What joke she? Cotton filled my sandpaper on my skin. Oh yeah, because of his heightened senses. So they must have had some kind of falling out. No, it's not. He's, he's not going to cut his friends loose. Well, you know, their, their relationship with him does put them at risk. So he, this stick guy left him when he was still a kid. <laughs> oh, now he's really pissed him off. Man, he's teaching him some valuable lessons. Very insightful. I thought Murdoch's never quit. My fault. It's my fault. My dad killed him. Yeah, he blames himself for his dad's death. He heard everything. He's not wrong. But he didn't, and he never will. We all pay for our choices, kid. Maybe your old man fought for you, maybe he did it for himself. I think it was both. You know for sure is he's gone now. But I'm here. Now get out. The student becomes the master. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. That's true. <laughs> he admits it. Guy is a weapon. What kind of weapon? None, I don't think. Yeah. He's going to have to kill somebody sooner or later. Just like what Vladimir said. Oh, all right. I don't know if that's what you want. <laughs> oh, she's okay. She, I think she's going to be okay. She's staying with Karen now? Because her apartment was destroyed. Oh, she's getting information from her. Now she remembers a lot of Spanish from high school. I don't remember that much Spanish. So what's the, what's the connection to Tully between Union Allen and Tully? You need to watch your language. 
Who's this guy? Is he after her? Yeah. Is that one of the repairmen that Mrs. Cardenas was just talking about? The bald guy? She's got her mace. Oh, there's another person. So now Karen is getting in over her head. Oh, Foggy. Oh, the baseball. following her. I'm worried about her. Oh, she cut that guy with a lot of mace. Yeah, he saved you. You did need his help. Oh. Well, that was quick and quiet. Guy's not even sure what happened. That was also very quiet. Man, they, they are good at, at stealth. He's got a, that's what he was putting together, a bow and arrow. Oh, he stopped the arrow. I controlled the body. The body controlled our enemies. Our enemies controlled jack shit by the time we're done with them. <laughs> Even heal your wounds faster. You can do that? Like you can do that? Question. I'll learn how. That's my deal. Good. Can that heal himself faster than other people? Oh, he's, he's gonna, they're gonna, he's gonna train him with knives now. Your training is over. Can't help you anymore. What? Why is he, this is when he left him? Why? Why? I expected too much of you. Because he made him a bracelet? The thing of the container was not a child. I could hear his heartbeat. The light blew fast. He had me manipulating. You're emotional. Yeah, no shit. What's wrong with that? You know, focused beyond your crybaby feelings. You would have sensed what that kid Is there something wrong with something. compassion? You're blind as you ever were. Maybe you should have stuck around and finished training yourself. I needed a soldier. You wanted a father. Well, well of course he did. Yes, we are. Uh, you take care of yourself, man. I'm gonna let you kill that kid. Why oh, does he want to kill that kid? I caught up with a van where oh, you were dicking no. around with Nobu's men. I put an arrow in that thing's heart. He already killed the kid. Oh my god. He's choking him. Whoa, ouch. Now, Matt, Matt doesn't need you anymore, Stick. Get out of my city. Catching up. <laughs> this is how they catch up. What part of don't tell anyone about this didn't understand? She had no choice. Kick out security and sooner or later we're going to need one of those. King of Diamonds? The man at the top. Any idea who he is? No. So this reporter doesn't know the name Wilson Fisk yet. We don't know who King Pit is yet. You think he's working for the king? Oh, and he's. Trying to figure out where the you never how the man in black fits in. You annihilated Hewer. Yeah, she doesn't believe that Please. the man in black is working for the Welcome the king. So the question is, which one kills the other? Hmm. And who's gonna win? Oh, look at this. 
trying to clean up this mess. Oh, I found that bracelet. Did that guy hold on to it all this time? Why did he leave? I don't get it. It's done. Black Who's sky. Who's he talking to? No longer a threat. So he got rid of this for black now. sky, whatever it is. What about for, for now? now. Stubborn. Immature. Still a real pain in the ass. Will he be ready when the door Who's open? this guy he's talking to? He's trying to get him ready for something. What is it? Wow, some very interesting reveals in this episode. Um, first, uh, young Matt, after his dad died, he was placed in an orphanage. Um, that surprised me because I thought uh, Jack had, um, he, he called uh, Matt's mom and told her that she needed to take care of him. Uh, I don't know why she didn't. Um, I would like to know more of that story. Um, that that nun said there there was there was more to that story. Um, maybe it'll be uh, revealed in future episodes. And this episode also revealed that um, you know while Jack Murdoch was a, a fighter, and I think you know Matt did uh, take a. To, in part, he, he, he did take after his dad. He did uh, inherit some of his dad's characteristics and, and learn some things from his father. But um, mostly what he has become, um, I, I think he mostly owes it to this stick guy who really uh, trained him hard and um, you know, was very... Uh, really it toughened him up and uh just had no mercy no mercy on him um treated him like a, a soldier um tried to uh erase any compassion out of him but he wasn't successful at that um which is just it's good um it's, it's good that that bat held on to his compassion um it's not it's a strength not a weakness and this this stick uh, is a very interesting character. Um, it's easy to hate him, but I, I can't help but also like him a little bit. Um, see, he's very smart, has a lot of good insights. Um, very very skilled. He he taught Matt a lot of his skills. Um, like like I said, you know, it's it's. He is largely largely responsible for who and what Matt has become, and it, it, it's hard not to like him for that. And he, he's funny too. He says some funny shit, and uh, he doesn't let the uh, the shitty things in life get him down. Um, he he has a what doesn't what doesn't kill you makes you stronger philosophy. Um, he just. Turns everything into a, to a lesson to make you better, stronger, faster. Um, and he's, he, he taught that to Matt. And now Foggy has been brought into this, this investigation that Ben and, and Karen are diving into. Um, and Ben's, Ben's not happy about it. Uh, but what can he do about it now? And, uh. Karen had no no choice but to tell him after he followed her and had to to save her um, from being assaulted further by those guys. Um, she had she had to tell him what was going on, who they were, and what she had got gotten into. Um, and I I wonder how how Foggy's gonna help, how much of a help he can be, and. Uh, are they going to figure out who Wilson Fisk slash Kingpin is? 
um, and how the, the masked man fits in. Um, they figured out that they are, they are not working together, that they are enemies and they just don't know who's going to win. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to seeing more of that play out, to see them learn more and more and, and put this puzzle together. Um, that, that's all I have to say about, uh, this episode. So let's just get into episode eight. He's really going to do this? Shit. This Chris keeps having nightmares. What kind of nightmares does he have? Is it about somebody, uh, like the masked man, finally getting to him and taking him down? Is it that painting, that rabbit in a snowstorm? Yeah, he said he put it in his bedroom. Oh, he seems to really enjoy cooking. It's like an art to him. It makes sense. He's he loves art. Uh, he does live a lonely life. But he still got, wants to be really artistic with his food, even though he's all alone. Me, I just uh. I live alone and I just slop together some meals, slop things together and call them meals. <laughs> oh, what? Who's that? Who is he seeing? Is it himself as a kid? What happened to him? This uh, explains, offers uh, somewhat of an explanation as to what he has become. <laughs> Nancy Drewing. It's true. Okay, let's say we do that. Telling her the truth. How long do you think? I should grow my hair. Matt, what's your take on that? Low <laughs> Good cover. Yeah, he has amazing hearing. I mean, how could you forget that? Oh, wow, she told him. What do you think is going to happen with these levers? Find out what it is you're up to. We already took They already have. <laughs> I took him. No, you haven't taken care of all of it. There are things out there. Yeah, he's really worried about them. Already been hurt by those and you could get hurt worse. You could get killed. What I signed or how much money they paid me to forget I don't need. But I'm not just going to stick my head in the sand and let it happen to somebody else because I am scared. Which I am. Yeah, she has this in common with Matt. She wants to do things to to help her city, to help protect people who need Protection. Trust them as much as I think you were fond of them. I know. Yeah, Ben is trustworthy. I was harsh. I know you're just trying to do the right thing here, but we have to be smart about this. We first rule, no more skulking around asking to get hurt. We do this, it's going to be on our turf. So he's he's joining. We know the law, we'll use it to our advantage. He's worried about them being vulnerable because of his enemies. What's the second rule? I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. Now Wilson does have some fear of this guy. I love music. This is not so loud. What the hell? This is a flashback to Fisk's childhood. That, uh, that he was a politician. Once you get on the city council, everybody wants to put a little something in their pocket. Oh, he was one of those. Of no? 
self-serving, greedy, political pricks. Just wants money stuffed into his pocket. After he got voted in, packed up, got himself a real house. Really? He wants him. He most certainly does not. Would that let me take a sip from his wife before I could talk? Go on. Before you could talk. Go on. Give him a beer. Okay. Oh, come on. It's a big one. He's too young. He thinks he's turning him into a man. man. Let him be a man. It's not Boy, beer that makes you a man. I'm have to. How am I paying for all this? I'd have gone before I took a loan. A loan? What the bank can make you put up? Oh no, it's not from the bank. Who's that? All that Rigoletto. He's in with some dangerous guys. And Fist grows up and he has Rigoletto killed. This is a dangerous risk. Putting not only himself but also his family at risk. Oh, shut up. He's just repeating the dumb shit you say. Oh, Detective Blake is more talk from his coma. Has he said anything we need to be concerned about? No. Yeah, they might need to be worried about what he knows, what he saw. That changes. Unlikely. They tried to kill him. He might turn against them. Yeah. Take care of him. That poses an issue. There's a detail on his floor. 24 hour presence. Oh, he's got on guard protecting him in the hospital. Because they're worried about the masked man. This is pointless, Matt. We should be out on the streets, cracking names and taking skulls. <laughs> take names, take ass. Yeah, right. A cop could take ass off you just for being punked. Detective Blake. Yeah. There's a real chance. He certainly didn't deserve a bullet from those masked douchebags. <laughs> Nobody knows what really happened to him. Detective Blake. Be interested in what he has to say. Yeah, me too. Allow this to happen. I know that you have. You He's have meeting with Hoffman. Respect that. But Detective Blake refuses to speak. Out of I don't know if you can get him to go against his longtime friend. The result will be unpleasant. You and me from the very turn you shot him. happened I wasn't sure if they if they knew who was behind the shooting apparently they they know Fisk was behind it I'm not sure how they know did you forgive him for that Because they could have told him that, but they didn't. Wow, they do go back a long way. How much are each of those years worth? He's trying to buy him off. And this is making him cry. I don't know. I mean, I think though those years are priceless to him. Now he's gone to see his friend in the hospital. What is he going to do? It's not just about the money. He's also terrified of Fisk. What's in the sandwich? What is that? What is he going to do? I'm sorry. Oh, is he he's really going to do this? Just put like an air bubble in him that'll kill him. Oh, he's awake. Oh no! And the mask, how did he get in? The mask gonna have to save his life somehow. Ooh. 
He's gonna get the information out of him. I'm not sure he can speak. Say something. Shit. He didn't get anything out of him, and now I think he's dead. So taken care of. Yes, but that was a complication. Well, Another complication. <laughs> yeah, and he saw Hoffman trying to kill him, and the masked man trying to stop it. So we have no idea. But it doesn't matter because he's dead now. <laughs> yeah, they don't know that he wasn't able to say anything. Well, they framed Matt for yet another murder. This guy Hoffman. How much does he know? We're taking care of it, Leland. That fills me with warm comfort. The situation's being handled all right. It's not by you. Hmm. You feed him too much of that shit. You want him to get fatter than he already is? Oh my God. Come on, what happened? God, he had an abusive father. Am I asking you? And he's abusive to his wife, do? too. He was on your side, Steph. I told him to stop, but he wouldn't. He said I was a loser. Just like my dad. Then you called me. So what's he gonna do? He's gonna go after this kid? God, he's just a, a stupid kid. He's yeah, probably been so traumatized by his father too. Speak up when I'm talking to you. He said it. No, I didn't. My dad did. I was just repeating it. Yeah, just like Wilson does. You think that's funny? Huh? Why doesn't he believe that? He just wants to beat up on somebody, but he doesn't want to go after his dad. He, he wants to beat up on somebody weaker than him. Teach your kid to do shit like this. Kids, tell the truth. He was just repeating what his dad said. That's what kids do. They repeat what they hear adults say. So put blame where blame is due. She does not need you to call my work. Do you? Listen? I've never heard her speak that much English. Well, she's never spoken English to them before. All of them? There's a lot of languages. Oh, he's been hiding that from her, too, that he speaks her language. Why have they been hiding this from each other? Oh, he's, he's hiding uh, from Nobu as well that he speaks his language. Because he, he doesn't uh, want him to know that he knows some things. And she didn't even know before where he lives? Oh, it's a secret. Yeah, the king in his lonely castle. She's being threatening to him. He seems so nervous and panicky. 
keep saying, I promise I got things under control, and then complications keep happening. He fears her too. She's gonna cut him. She's threatening to cut him out. He's got anger seething in it, and it's coming out, exploding. Rage is a wildfire, out of control, therefore useless. Get out. Yeah, for your own good, Wesley, get out now. He's got some repressed anger coming out. You're my son. You should be a king. That's what that little pussy. Oh my god. You talk to your kid like that. It's late. Where are you going? Gotta take care of something. What's the matter? Can't wait till tomorrow. No, Marlene. We can't. All right? Gotta talk to Rigoletto. Fist does Tonight. say that he lost his dad when he was a kid. Oh, Is this the Hello. night he Hello. dies? Worry about it. How much? I got man, it he's going to see that man he owes money to. Now, I told you you shouldn't have borrowed money from him. But no, you had to be the big shot. Huh? You had to have your face plastered. Oh, oh, yeah, I knew I he was going to hit her. Shit out there. I got to get it in my own house. In my own house. <sighs> Taking off his belt. Oh my god, he's being here with his belt. He's worried about you. Vanessa was going to see this side of you sooner or later. Yeah. Yeah, don't be afraid to be vulnerable with her. Yeah, don't underestimate her. I lost because of you! Because of this family! And his traumatic childhood. He's still beating her. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Oh, he did it. He killed his dad. Oh my god. I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. Oh, and he hit him again. And again. Oh. Yeah, just like his dad told him. So that's how he got all that blood on his face. Oh my god. They're gonna hide. They hid his body somewhere. They chop him up. What a horrible sound. Kit Young Wilson washed all of it. And he's telling Vanessa all of this. The next week. Everyone in town knew that he owed money to Rigoletto, so I picked him up. Yeah, it was easy to blame Rigoletto or his men for it. That's why I still wear these. To remind myself that I'm not cruel for the sake of cruelty. That I'm not my father. That I'm not a monster. Yes, you are, though. Am I? To, not the the same monster that your dad was, but a monster nonetheless. And it won't matter. There are people out there that want to expose me. They don't understand what I'm trying to do for this city. They want to drag my name through the streets. They want to destroy everything that I'm trying to accomplish. And are you going to let them? He said there, there are people out there that want to expose him. Well, then, is, is he admitting that there are no. things to be exposed about him? Is something going to happen to him? Who's that? Oh, it's him. We need to talk. He's afraid of him, but I think I am. he's here to help. Devil of 
girls kiss me. Do you believe that? What they're saying about me? You've been in an awful lot of wrong places at the wrong time lately. But I've heard the other stories about the man in the mask. Oh, yeah, he's the type of guy type of guy to look at both sides. Like maybe there's more than one side. Yeah. I know. I want you to expose the man responsible. He's filling in some of your puzzle. The city apart, piece by piece. You got a name? Yeah. Like Never heard of him. Because he doesn't want you to. That's what makes him dangerous, living in the shadows, no one knowing who he is. Now he knows the name the Wilson Fisk and he heard it from the masked man himself. I'm trying to... But right now they hate you. I have no idea who this, this guy is. You can change that. Yeah, so he can. Another other reporter, Union ally. Guessing that was you who dumped that guy on the doorsteps of the police. I think he's connected. Yeah, to he's him. very smart. That woman you saved that night? She's a good kid. Who believes you're a hero, despite what everybody's saying? People like her are why I do this. But Detective Blake, I was at the hospital when he died. Yeah. Saying you send him on his way. It was his partner. They both worked for Fisk. Blake gave Fisk up before he went. You get this on tape? Somebody else in the room? Corrupted with no. And this is the guy at the top. You sure about that? I bet my light on. You bet mine now, too. Yeah. You get what you deserve. It's an old thing. One that survived the years because it's true, for the most part, but not for everyone. Some get more than they deserve. Oh, so now his they morning routine has changed. He's not alone like anymore. I'm not very good at this, not being in public. But I felt the need to speak up for this city that I love with all my heart. So didn't the fist say no that one should have to he said he doesn't like to be in public? But he's out there speaking to the Fear public, pretending to be a good guy who wants to... Who have no regard for who they to help uh, fear of the devil those affected by the explosions and what he's blaming the mass man for and psych, we must stand up to them as this man my dearest friend Leland Owlsley a pillar in the financial community stood up when he was recently assaulted oh, what a bunch oh, of bullshit for no other reason than to send me a message Bunch of lies. Bullshit! He's getting out there and telling a bunch of lies, making himself look like a hero. When he's the one behind all the pain and suffering. How can Ben publish what he just wrote? Is anybody going to believe him after this? Living in the shadows, afraid of the light. None of us can. None of us should be forced to. We must no. do this together. Keep it. We must resist those who would have us live in fear. Damn. My name is Wilson Fisk. Wow, now everybody knows his name. Together. He didn't want anybody speaking his name before, and now he's revealed place. it everybody. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Man, I would be really pissed too. It's an old thing. One that survived the years because it's true. For the most part. But not for everyone. Yeah. Some get more than they deserve. Because they believe that's very unfortunately true. Not the room. But the ones people like me and you, the people that worked and struggled to live our lives, just live. And they just dis distract us with whatever they can distract us with to keep to have us uh, turn and look away from the shit they're doing. Yeah, greedy, greedy fuckers. One of the biggest problems in our society. Someone in the girl's kitchen that doesn't share this belief. He's 
been among us for quite some time. He never hurt his face. He never sees his face. He stayed in the shadows because men like him, men that want to control our city, our lives, fear the light and what it reveals. This man must yeah, know. Yeah, they want to hide in darkness. And men like Fisk, they they act like they're revealing everything. That they're not afraid of the light. That they have nothing to hide. Yeah, but they do, but they just make sure we don't see it because they have us looking here, there, anywhere except at what they do in, in the shadows. Um, you know, all this misdirection and manipulation so that they can uh, keep doing whatever the hell they want, still getting whatever they want, and keeping us uh, blind to what they're really doing. There are just way too many people like that. Uh, so it's a real shame that Ben didn't save what he wrote. I really wish he had. But you know, I doubt he ever could have gotten that published or even if he did who would believe him after what Fisk said in public he's fooling a lot of people unfortunately and it seems that Vanessa convinced him to do this um, what's, what's going to happen when she finds out the real complete truth about him um, is, I mean, maybe she has some inkling already. Is she okay with it? Or is she going to be completely shocked and very regretful of what she's done, what she's encouraged him to do here? Oh, and I, I didn't notice this before. Um, the words at the, the bottom of the TV screen during Fisk's press conference it says philanthropist identified as Wilson Fisk. So he's masquerading as a philanthropist. Oh my god. What a crock of shit. And it says he speaks out against violence and corruption. Yeah, the violence and corruption that he's the head of. He's behind all of it. Oh good lord. And Matt is, is so pissed, extremely pissed, and I don't blame him. I mean, how could he not be? He, he must have told Ben a lot. And he thought this was going to work. Um, ben casting, casting light on what Fisk truly is. But then Fisk beat them to the punch with this... This fake, this fake hero shit masquerading as a hero at a press conference fooling the public and presenting his, his friend Leland as a victim of the masked man this, this show is, is revealing more and more about Fisk um, I think this is the, the most revealed about him in, in um, any of the episodes so far um I, li I liked seeing the flashbacks to his childhood and see seeing his backstory, what made him who and what he is. Um, he did have a traumatic childhood, an abusive father, um, and wow, he brutally killed his father um, to protect his, his mom. Uh, like he felt like he had to do something and uh, he did what his his dad taught him to do um, taught uh, his, his dad taught him to deal with his anger by taking it out on people by beating up people hurting them and, and his his dad was killed by what he turned his son into um, he's 
He turned his, his son into a monster. Not the, the same type of monster he was, but like I said before, a monster nonetheless. And what are they all going to do now with Fisk manipulating the public into, into being on his side? Believing he's trying to help them and save them from this this person he's framing as a villain. Wow. So th thank you all for watching this along with me. I hope you enjoy this reaction. Uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really very much appreciate it. I will be uh, reacting to the whole Daredevil series, uh, two episodes at a time. I plan on uh, posting a reaction every week. Um, so uh, that's, that's a good reason for you to subscribe to, to, to keep up with that. And I'm also currently reacting to the She-Hulk series. I'm going to post that every week as well. Um, I've got more coming up, the Andor series and the Bad Batch, which I might also react to. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm probably going to react to uh, a couple of scary movies in October. So plenty of content coming. So a lot, a lot of good reasons to, to subscribe. And thank you all so much for being here with me. And I hope you all have a good night or day, wherever time it is where you are. Bye for now.